Hey, welcome everybody. In this tutorial, we're gonna be working with vector shapes and we're gonna take a little departure from Photoshop, Photo P, and we're gonna work inside of Google Draw. So the first thing you'll do is you'll go into Canvas. You're gonna scroll down to uh, part three here where you'll see this, uh, this series of images. We're gonna be trying to reconstruct these. So the first thing that you'll wanna do is you're gonna do a right click and you're gonna hit copy image. Then you'll come down to this link where it says Google Draw. You're gonna open up the program and it'll be uh, you know, transparent as you start and you're gonna hit Control V for paste, okay, which is gonna then paste the reference that we're gonna need. And for this uh, tutorial, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, construct this third image, okay? So the girl sitting on the bench with the ice cream cone. And the, what I'll need to do first is I'll need to create a background. So I'm gonna go over here to the interface, okay? And the interface is quite a bit simpler than Photoshop or Photo P. But what, I'll, what I see here is there's a circle with a square and it says shapes when you hover over it. And when you open that up, it drops down to a menu where you've got you know, your basic rectangle, triangle, circles, and then you've got a bunch of these other um, more complex shapes. So I'm gonna start with the rectangle shape. And as I click and I drag out the rectangle, by default, it's going to be light blue. So the next thing I need to do is I need to go up here to the top and where the paint bucket is, I'm gonna do a fill that's red. So I click red there. And what you'll notice is now the, re the red rectangle is on top of the reference image that I'm gonna be using. And the important thing to know about Google Draw is that unlike Photoshop or Photo P, we don't have a layers palette, okay? So anything, anytime you select an object, uh, it's gonna become active. So what I'll do is I'm gonna select the image references and you'll see the bounding box appears. I'm gonna do a right click, I hit order, and you've got four options. You can bring to front, bring forward, send backward, or send back. And what I wanna do is I wanna put this on top. So I'm gonna hit bring forward. As you can see, it does that nicely. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be looking at my image and I'm gonna be trying to uh, you know, figure out how it is I'll make that with basic shapes. So I'm gonna start with the face. I'm gonna go over to shapes. I'm gonna grab the circle. And that looks about good. By default, it's light blue. So I'm gonna change it to more of like a pale of the face. And then what I'll do is I'll be adding in the black hair. So I'm gonna grab and make another, another oval here. So I go shapes, grab the shape tool. I'm gonna to make this one just a little bit larger and uh, it's gonna show up as, red, as a red fill. So I need to change that to black. And now what you'll notice is that the black is on top of the face color. So I wanna move the face to the top. So again, I select it, right click, hit order and bring to front, okay? And then I can position this uh, like you see here in the reference image. Now, I'm gonna bring this in, the hair in just a little bit tighter to the face. Maybe I'll make this. And again, with this program, you can use the arrow keys at the bottom of your keyboard to make your life a little bit easier um, and to fine tune it just a little bit, okay? So I've got the face there. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the uh, pigtails or the, the side buns here on our hair. So again, I'm gonna grab the shape tool. I hit circle. Now, if you hold down the shift key, you're gonna get a perfect circle, which is what I'm after. And so as I select that and make that perfect circle, I'm gonna then fill it with black and I'll slide it over here. And just like with any other program, if you hit control C for copy and control V for paste, you can duplicate it. So I've just made two of those and I can then slide that over to the other side. And that's basically the process for constructing these different images. Uh, what I wanna go over real quick before I leave you is I wanna show you how to do outline and fill. And so I'm gonna go shape, let's use just a regular rectangle here. Okay, and it's gonna be black. Now, if I wanted to make a border to this shape or an outline, what I'll do is I'll go up to the top here and I'm going to, uh, select this icon that has the thick line, the medium line and the thin line, and I can then adjust it. Okay, so right now it's a black, so you can't see it because it's black fill, black outline. But it's, if I go to the pencil and I change it to white, you'll see that now it has a white frame. And this can be useful, especially here with the cat where you've got, you know, this pink, uh, you know, pink oval with the black outline. Uh, you'll want to be able to adjust that. And you can adjust the thickness of it. So if I wanted something that's a little bit narrower, you know, I would just have to go up here, drop down, and, and then change it out. 
The last step of the process is you're going to need to download and save this as a JPEG. So once you've fully created your image, you're going to go file, you're going to go download, and then you're going to save it as a JPEG, and it will go to your Google Drive. Hey, thanks for joining me in this tutorial. Bye.